Thanks to Jim for those early races. I'll kick off with the Cranji Stairs handicap. Two more three furlongs, 0 to 80. Super 6 at the top for Martin Leon Velvet, Monkey James Shea, Maundy Thursday, Nick Driver, Crop Duster, Paul Parsons, Daneside Quarter, James Shea, Captain Morgan, Matt Cooper, Zafuha Mint, Jamie Hopkins, Madeline, Matt Cooper, Prize Princess, Nick Driver, Mumbles Pier, Alex Cherry, and Spinny McGarry. Jamie Hopkins, they're all installed and ready to go. And away they go. And Madeline was nicely out. And so to everyone on the far side was stable companion Captain Morgan. And that one's got the rail. And that one is going to go and take the lead. Pulling for its head won't settle. Wants to go a lot quicker than the jockey wants it to. And has already opened up into a four length lead. So it's Captain Morgan in front. From Crop Duster in second. Then Zifu Mint and Spinny McGarry. With the Jamie Hopkins and Daneside Quarter and Velvet Monkey. The two James Shea horses are next. And then Nick Drivers two are together as well. Prize Princess and Maundy Thursday. Super Six in the purple and white stripes and the red jacket. The stable companion of the leader. That's Madeline. The one that's in front is Captain Morgan. Let's just leave this with Mumbles Pier at the back for Alex Cherry in the orange and the blue. And it's Captain Morgan who's clearing the lead. Leading by a good five or six lengths to Crop Duster. He's got a four length advantage. Over the third place horse who is Velvet Monkey, closest to us. And the Jamie Hopkins pairs if you are meant and spin him a Gary with Daneside Quarter in the green behind them. And the first Nick Drivers two. Prize Princess. With Maundy Thirsty just tucked in behind her. And then slightly wider on the track, Super Six. And Madeline in the red. And finally, Mumbles Pier. Captain Morgan is setting the pace. Long distance handicap at Royal Ascot next week, which is 0 to 80 as well, and the same as this one. So this might give that might give us some, some clues to that. But one or two of these, if they perform too well in this, might end up getting themselves handicapped out of that. So I think that's probably something that maybe. There's a bit of an oversight there because you be ruling yourself out of the big Ascot races by running in this. I've got a big chance of me doing it because mine is a top weight. I think he's rated about 75 or 77. If it wins this, you'll almost certainly be not allowed to run a Royal Ascot next week, which will be a bit daft. So maybe this one needs to go down 10 or the Ascot one needs to go up 10. I don't know. Anyways, Captain Morgan in the lead from Zifuha Mint in second. Crop Duster is in third. Velvet Monkey is fourth. Then comes Madeline in fifth. And Super Six, Daneside Quarter. And then Prize Princess and Monday Thursday. And Spinny McGarry and Mumbles Pier. But Captain Morgan continuing to lead. By a couple of lengths from Zifuha Mint and Stable Companion Madeline still running wide over track but getting much closer in third. Then comes Crop Duster and Daneside Quarter. Velvet Monkey is after that. Maundy Thursday Prize Princess getting closer than Super Six wider on the track. Spinning McGarry's just been dropped off and so too Mumbles Pier has never really got going at all. But it's Captain Morgan continuing to lead. With Daneside Quarter now being driven up into second. Then comes Maundy Thursday. Zifuha Mint is after that one. Then Prize Princess is still trying to run on one. Snatched up for room there was Crop Duster. And Madeline's lost her place as well. She's dropped tamely out, really, considering how well she was going not too long ago. Daneside Quarter is now at the front. Daneside Quarter from Captain Morgan, Velvet Monkey, and Maundy Thursday. Then comes Prize Princess and Crop Duster. They've got a furlong and a half still to go. And Daneside Quarter is in front in the lead from Velvet Monkey and, Mel and Maundy Thursday. Captain Morgan and Prize Princess are trying to run on. They're coming down always a four and a half furlong. Looks like Daneside Quarter is going to take this one. And what's he going to do to his handicap mark for next week? And race up towards the line and see what happens. It's Daneside Quarter that takes it. Maundy Thursday second. Velvet Monkey Prize Princess. Crop Duster all the way back to Spinning McGarry. Who was the last one to finish? And Daneside Court has won that pretty impressively. So if that's rated over 75, which I don't think it is, it could have trouble next week. 
It's 63, so it's probably going to go up to 70, isn't it? So it's going to get in next week and look a good thing. Monday, Thursday was second for Nick Driver. Velvet Monkey for James Shea was third. Price Princess for Nick Driver was fourth. And Captain Morgan was fifth for Matt Cooper. And looking at that, I don't think any of those have got any problems. They should all get into the 0 80 next week. The only one who was potentially had a problem was Super 6, and he's finished 8, so he should go down.